Hi, in this lecture we'll talk about the quick mask mode, which is a particularly helpful way to check the quality of your selections and further modifying them. Here's the situation. We have this building and its top edge is blue. Our sky is blue as well, so that might throw off our selection tools and that's bound to be a problem. Let me do this. I'll go with a subpar choice for this job, the quick selection tool. I know a lot of users love it, but in this case I'd rather use one of the lassos or better yet the pen tool. Nevertheless, I'm going to use it to demonstrate the usefulness of the quick mask mode. I'll paint over my building like so, and you can see it does a pretty good job in this bottom and middle area. As I go towards the top, things aren't as hot because I'm afraid to go over this region because I'll get the sky in my selection, which is exactly what I'm trying to avoid. OK, did I do a good enough job? Well, this blue on blue isn't very helpful. In comes the quick mask mode by way of its hotkey, Q. A few things have happened. First, our layer is now highlighted in red. Even more striking is this red overlay that covers our sky. That means it's not selected. So quick mask mode gives you a better visual representation of what's selected. In this case, the building, which is unaffected. And what's not selected, in this case the sky, and that's covered in red. With its help, I can zoom in and focus on my problem areas. Besides showcasing all my selection issues, I also get a great way of solving them. Grab the brush tool. Now, with white as my foreground colour, I can start to paint over these red areas. Remember, red means it's not selected, and I want this entire building selected. Adjust your hardness if needed, and do your best to paint over these areas. A much better approach would be the following. Get the pen tool and quickly click a few times. We don't need any curves for this specific region. Close it off and right click. Make a selection, and yes, that's allowed in quick mask mode. Once we have, you can either paint with your brush inside it, or better yet, use Alt Delete to fill it with white. That means we'll reveal this building, which in this case translates into a selection. Take care of the right side if you have a few moments to spare. By the way, this is attached to this lecture and I encourage you to test it out. OK, let's say our work is complete. Exit quick mask mode either through its hotkey Q or by pressing on this icon in the toolbox. Once you do that, you're left with a nice selection and you can do whatever you want. That's the quick mask mode, but I want to take a moment to point out two things. Even though the quick selection tool is easy to use, it wasn't the best tool for the job. Yes, I could have used Alt to remove parts of the sky if they'd been selected by mistake, but the polygonal lasso or the pen tool would have been much better options. Furthermore, the whole exercise is based around a goal, to show you the quick mask mode. If that wasn't the case and I wanted to get rid of the sky, I would have approached it the other way around. Instead of selecting the building, which is, what, 80% of this photo, I would have selected the sky. So my point is to always work smarter, not harder. And even though you may be comfortable with some tools, they may not be appropriate for the task at hand. OK, let's continue. 